Hello folks, today we are going to discuss about the developer command prompt that comes with the VL Studio. So whenever you install VL Studio, you might notice that some command prompts also install or, or come built in with that. What is the purpose for those? So they are basically specialized for some developer commands that developers might use in a command prompt without setting up the variables and things like that. Uh, let's take a quick demo for example if I just run a simple command prompt cmd and uh, uh, I'm going to try a few simple commands for example there list of directory and next thing is that uh, I am just going to try a very simple uh, command for developers that we often use that is clr and it doesn't list the version of the CLR that I'm having so it says that the CLR word is not recognized as an internal external command uh, operatable program or batch file whatsoever is that which means that variable environment are not set with this okay it makes sense but what if I try that in PowerShell so if I try that in PowerShell let's say DIR plus the directory and CLR or and nothing happens so for that what actually is that we have a specialized command prompt that comes with Vil Studio so whenever you install Vil Studio you might notice that there is a command prompt uh, like this that is known as developer command from prompt for Vil Studio and let's go to the properties make a file bigger okay there you go so now when I try a few commands, for example, directory and the simple command that work with the, the other command prompt, uh, the simple command prompt uh, that works here. But for example, if I just say uh, GUID chin, and it gives me the GUID generator, which means that uh, it has more uh, environment variables set up that developers might use. And for example, if I just say CLR ver that I was using previously, it tells me the, all the variant uh, currently installed on my machine. And for example, if I say CLR ver 180, so it gives me uh, the process 180 of the CLR variant that is being running, and it says it's 4.0.30319 that's been running. If I want to list all of the variants of CLR ver, I would just simply just go CLR ver. Uh, I would say slash all half and all there you go so these are all the process that are being running currently on my machine here is a very number for example if I just say 1628 CLR ver and 1628 it would list me the variant that is 30319 30319 there you go so this is about the developer command prompt. For example, if I should learn, if you want to learn more about the developer commands, here are some commands that uh, you can learn from: IL assembler, uh, global assembly cache tool, assembly binding log viewer, and the CLR variant tool, certificate manager tool, and simple tools like that. So, for example, if you just if you just want to learn about some of the commands, just right click, go to the new tab. And uh, there you would be able to see all of the documentation for that command. For example, CLR variant tool it tells the CLR uh, variant and the process is being running. So it tells us syntax. This is syntax, and you have the options. So what are the options? Options are here: all, PID, process ID, and display the syntax in the command tool. So examples. There you go. CLR ver, CLR ver 128, CLR were all so this is all the documentation and you should try this uh, because they are really helpful being a developer you need not to set up this uh, external variable environments for all of the developer development things and for dotnet for assign tool for uh, verification tools and for CLR and things you have specialized uh, command prompt already set up with all of the environment variables so this was all for this video and yeah, next time we would come up with a very nice video on Real Studio as well and for now thank you and don't forget to comment and give us a feedback.